Welcome to the spectacular world of visible light. Today, we will explore how white light transforms into a mesmerizing array of colors, from vibrant violet to radiant red. Have you ever wondered why a rainbow explodes with so many vibrant colors? Today, we will reveal how this happens. We'll explore how white light, seemingly pure and simple, is actually a dazzling combination of colors, waiting to be unraveled. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of frequency and wavelength. The sun radiates white light. White light is actually a combination of all the different colors of light, which you can see separately in the bands of a rainbow. The collection of all the colors that you find in a rainbow is called the spectrum of visible light. When we see a rainbow, we see the different colors that white light is made up of in bands. So by definition, the collection of all the colors that make up white light is known as the visible light spectrum. These different colors can be seen in a rainbow and that is the spectrum of white light. When a ray of white light is shone through a triangular prism, the white light is broken up into its spectrum of colors and all colors of the rainbow are visible. When this happens we say the light undergoes dispersion. Dispersion is the breaking up of white light into the different colors of the spectrum. This spectrum, or color range, consists of the following seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. To easily remember the correct sequence of these colors, they can be abbreviated as Roy G. Biv. Light is called a wave because when it travels, it moves in a regular, repetitive pattern, up and down. Water waves form a similar pattern, but unlike water we cannot see the pattern that light creates. Each of the different colors of visible light has a characteristic wave. Some colors have long waves such as red light and some colors have short waves such as blue light. However, all light waves travel at the same speed, the speed of light, which is approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. Like all other waves, light waves also have peaks and troughs. The highest points of the waves are called the peaks or crests. The lowest points of the waves are called the troughs. Just like all other waves, light waves have a wavelength and a frequency. The distance from one wave peak to the next wave peak, or the distance from one wave trough to the next wave trough is called the wavelength of the wave. So, wavelength is a term that describes the length of a wave pattern. The number of waves that travel past a certain point in one second is called the frequency of the wave. The shorter the wavelength, the more waves will be able to pass a certain point at a given time. We have already seen that the different primary colors that together make up white light are violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Violet has the shortest wavelength and therefore the highest frequency. On the other side of the spectrum, red has the longest wavelength and the lowest frequency. Light can change direction when it moves from one medium to another, such as from air to glass. We call this apparent bending of light refraction. However, the different colors of light that make up white light refract at different angles. This is why it is possible to see different colors. To see how light refracts, we use a triangular prism, which is a three-dimensional shape that is made of clear perspex or glass. This triangular prism is denser than air. When white light enters the prism, it is refracted as it moves from the air to the glass or perspex, and again when it moves out of the prism to the air. This is because light is delayed when it travels from a less dense medium, such as air, to a denser medium, such as glass or perspex. 
All the colors of the rainbow that are present in white light become visible because light is broken up and dispersed when light travels through the prism. Because of the shape of the prism and the effect of refraction, the white light is split into its component colors when it leaves the prism. We say that the white light is dispersed so that the different colors are visible. The different colors of light break at different angles because every color of the spectrum has a different wavelength, frequency, and amount of energy. This bending of light rays when light strikes a denser medium is called refraction. Red light with the longest wavelength has the lowest frequency and therefore the least energy and undergoes the least refraction, meaning it is bends the least. Violet light with the shortest wavelength has the highest frequency and therefore the most energy and undergoes the most refraction, meaning it bends the most. I am sure you have seen a rainbow in the sky after it rained. But how is a rainbow formed? The air is filled with tiny water droplets, which act as small prisms. A rainbow forms when light falls on water droplets in the air. Sunlight that enters a raindrop is refracted or changes direction within the droplet. This refraction causes dispersion or the breaking up of white light into the seven colors of the rainbow. When it reaches the other side of the droplet, the light does not leave the droplet, but is reflected in a new direction inside the droplet. The light eventually leaves the droplet and is broken up and dispersed in the different colors of the rainbow, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. Red light has the longest wavelength, a low frequency and low energy it undergoes the least refraction. Red light therefore forms the upper arch of the rainbow. On the other side of the visible light spectrum, Violet light has the shortest wavelength, a high frequency and high energy. It undergoes the most refraction. Because violet light bends the most it forms the lower arch of the rainbow. So remember, when light hits the water droplet, it is refracted and dispersed inside the water droplet. It is then reflected on the other side of the droplet and as the light moves out of the water droplet it is further refracted. As we conclude, please attempt answering these questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. Please remember to subscribe so that you do not miss our weekly uploads. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.